here is the plan. So I want to be able to um, create native services, uh, traditionally native services, such as um, creating a video, editing a video, same with images. Um, and want to be able to write the core logic in Rust um, or some, uh, no, just uh, I want to be able to write it in Rust <laughs> or find some other library that it's already written in uh, and compile it down to. So basically, what I'm trying to have is one code base that will share the business logic. Uh, for the client side devices. So, what I'm trying to do is offload uh, the server, things that would be traditionally be done on the server, any type of processing, over to the clients, and then just have the server basically um, synchronize communication between the databases and, and kind of handle networking rather than doing most of uh, the business logic. That way we can kind of save on computer costs and cloud costs and all that type of stuff. Uh, so the best way to go about that is using um, Rust, and Rust will give us a compile target to WASM as well as uh, native. Now the one thing that I want uh, to watch is making sure that it's easy to interrupt Rust uh, with the native packages and so uh, right now I found where you can basically uh, write like Java or uh, uh, Kotlin classes and then throw them into uh, like a React Native Android base but what I'm looking for is um, and then I found some other way where you can kind of use Rust uh, with FFI to interface with Java. Um, so what I'm trying to look for is, is if there's a way that I can use Rust to work directly, um, whether you have to port it over to Java or if I can just write some Rust stuff and then compile it down and add it in. Um, to the Java base. Uh, that's what, yeah. I, I would prefer to do it the 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 form the latter way rather than the former. Uh, but right now, I have to get more clear on how Rust would actually be interacting uh, with these native systems. And, yeah, so the, it seems like, I'm sure it'll all come back around at some point, but it seems like it kind of splits the systems, at least, uh, kind of split in their functionality uh, when you go from WebAssembly to Assembly. So I was looking for, like, a WebAssembly runtime that's on mobile. Uh, there isn't one just yet, I don't think. And it makes sense, because why would there be <laughs> when you can, it's an Assembly runtime, you know, yeah. So, I was looking for a WebAssembly runtime so I can kind of just write it in Rust and then compile it to WebAssembly and have it just work. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work. And then there's a lot of, if, even if I do that, there's a lot of, uh, um, there isn't a good Rust uh, like interface for the device API, so it would just kind of just take all of that stuff away. So, yeah, so right now I'm focusing on Getting the inner operations of Rust and uh, working with the native uh, devices. And uh, yeah, it's like it, it seems like uh, I might be kind of like I don't want to do that. <laughs> it seems it's boring and kind of hard to understand, but I, I'm pretty sure once I have this understood, uh, then it'll be relatively easier for me to just go about working rather than kind of trying to figure out how to do things.
So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. All right, peace.